What's going on? This is Asher Roth, and I will be taking over wrapup.com starting right now. The ride has been, um, been magical. I do have to do a lot, of, a lot of press and promotion, and it is fun. But at the same time, we've got beautiful days in Los Angeles. I'm trying to be at the batting cages, hitting line drives and singles up the middle. But there's time and place for everything. And right now, it's time to work and enjoy later. I think the best part of fame is not having to pay for like the little stuff like clothes I can just get, shoes I can just get, little like stupid stuff that doesn't matter but everyone thinks it like really matters. Yeah, I get that for free now, so that's the best part of fame. Just the other day in New York, I was driving in a van with a television in it because, you know, I'm coming up now and I'm making it big, so there's TVs in my vans. And I'm like, man, it would be so cool if I could get a Wii and Mario Kart. And sure enough, when I got to my hotel in New York, Nintendo personally delivered a Wii and Mario Kart. It was incredible. So we took it down and tried to play it in the van, and the TV didn't even work. So now the Wii is at my buddy Josh Langsom's house, so whatever. It is what it is. Fame has absolutely not helped me with females. I was an incredible, I, mean, I was an incredible um, Cyrano de Bergiac before this, and it's, uh, it's just kind of allowed me to speak to more girls on a broader scale. So no, fame has not made my girl situation better. It's made it worse. Man, honestly, the most, the most beautiful ones are the, the groupies. Some of these groupies are just so hot, but they're so bad for you. It's so true. Why is everything that's awesome bad for you? Girls that are all, like, sweaty and gross and all, like, obvious about their, their intentions aren't really attractive to me. So play hard to get. We might, we might be able to get somewhere, but you have to flirt. You can't play too hard to get like you're not interested so, um, you know, groupies are awesome. You just got to know how to treat them. You got to know how to speak to the groupies. There's a science behind it. You can't get lost in the groupie love because it's not real. It's not real. It's all fake. It's all lust. They didn't care about you when you didn't have a song about how great college was on the radio. Now that they care, don't, don't forget who you are. Seriously. I'm working this out for me right now so you guys can... We're communicating and working this out together. Carrie got on She Don't Want a Man based off of the fact that we're just homies. Like, I was in Atlanta for a little bit. She went to school with, at Emory with Scooter. They both dropped out. And uh, she's awesome. She's completely sexy. She's completely cool. She's young. She's hip. She's got a dope song on the radio. Um, so it was a no-brainer to put Carrie on She Don't Want a Man. And she really did her to it, which is also the coolest part of when you do a collaboration with somebody and they actually do them and then... You do you, and it comes out as a real duet, collaborative effort. So, uh, big shout out to Kara. You're beautiful. We see you. Much success to you. What's going on? This is Asher Roth, and it's very, very important. You go pick up a sleep in the bread aisle in stores now.